So I'll put this on, try to get him to sit with good posture. Sit up straight here, right there. So let's say, okay, so sit with your regular posture. Look, look straight ahead. No, I, I meant, I'm, I'm maybe not. <laughs> right there. Okay, so we'll put this pin there. Keep your eyes open. So what I'll tell you to do is I want you to close your eyes, you'll rotate all the way to the right, and then all the way back to where you think the center is, and tell me when you think you're there. Close them, rotate your head all the way to the right, keep them closed, all the way back to the center, tell me when you're there. No. Okay. So then I would measure this, okay? So he's a little bit off, but I, the, if you're three feet away from the wall, if it's seven centimeters or more, that would be indicative of, of a dysfunction, something that we may want to work on. Okay? Now, I would have him go to the left. So, so start with it in the center. Close your eyes. Rotate all the way to the left. All the way. Go back to the center. Tell me when you think you're there. Oh. <laughs> oh. I haven't said it yet. You can't go by the reaction. Any warmer? So that, that's, I don't have measure, but that's more than seven centimeters. So that's how you do that. Now you could go up, you could go down. When you treat this, you just turn it into an intervention. Do it ten times. If, and what I'll tell them is, if every time you're up here, well then whenever you think you're at the right spot, you need to go down and to the left. And that's going to help them um, get, get better uh, neck proprioception. You can, yeah, like I said, you can go up, you can go down, you can do it standing, you can do it whether standing on foam. I could do it to where I'm not facing this way. I'm rotated a little bit to my left, closing my eyes, and getting back to the center. You can do those tracing activities. So there's a lot of ways you can turn this into an intervention. And it's just improving their neck proprioception.